The following lesson is from a program on artists helping artists entitled Eight Habits of Highly Successful Artists. It's based on Stephen Covey's book and notes from that radio program broadcast on May of 2012. Habit number one, be proactive. Being inactive as an artist is detrimental to your spirit and to your trade. Remember, you choose success, failure, courage, fear. Every day and every situation provides a new choice. Don't just let that rocking chair take over. You get up and go even if you don't want to. Your life is carefully designed by you. Don't let age, don't let negative self-talk, don't let anything keep you from art. Make a conscious effort to remember that painting is about the joy, not the money, not competition. It's about joy. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Try to visualize where you want to be with your art. Try to visualize the end product. Envision with the mind what you can't see with the eyes. Do a rough draft. Write down your goals. Clear your mind of the word can't. Since artists are visual, if it's not in front of us, it's out of sight, out of mind. When we file it away, it goes off our radar. So keep things written down. Be realistic. A former soldier turned artist developed a war room with a strategy plan for his art. He posted his goals mapped on the wall as if going to war. Don't do everything that comes your way. Painting should be at the top of your priority list. Develop habits that will keep you on track. Plan for distractions. Every successful artist has studio hours. Set your hours and don't let yourself get sidetracked. Plan like you would for a nine to five job. Balance your time in the studio and your time for marketing. Habit number three, put first things first. Always make art a priority. Order is an important element in the artist's life. Keep your studio conducive to creating great art. Keep your palette orderly. Management. Have the right tools. Buy the best art materials you can afford. Poor materials make your job much harder. Plan for distractions. They will come. Don't take your phone in the studio with you. Play good music in the studio. Then guard your painting time. Manage your time. Use a good calendar. Note commission deadlines, art shows. Plan at least a year out. Record deadlines on next year's calendar and write out your schedule. Habit number four, think win-win. Watch out for pitfalls that come in our thinking. Watch out for ego. Life is a cooperative arena, not a competitive one. Mutual benefit is of great value. Remember that hoarding causes stagnation, and yet giving always brings life. When dealing with clients, when dealing with students and teachers. Verify and validate. Don't hesitate to give guarantees on commission work. Ask for workshop reviews. Ask for testimonials. Ask people to share on Facebook. They won't think to, so ask them to. Your reputation is of utmost importance. Do small things like send thank you notes. People will remember that. Galleries, customers, students. The manners your mom taught you are a rare thing in today's email and texting culture. 
Be proactive with this. Don't underestimate the power of a positive reputation. Keep note cards by your desk with stamps and use cards that feature your paintings. Habit number five, seek first to understand and then to be understood. Remember that most people don't listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Be careful to avoid miscommunication regarding commissions or workshops. Listen, verify, and validate. Take steps to protect you both. Habit number six, synergize. Two heads are better than one. As artists, it's easy to isolate, to just stay busy doing your work. Expertise, experience, and discovery are important elements for the artist. Meet with another artist every month. Have a conference call. Schedule a small group show. Meet people beyond your usual circle. Get out there. As iron sharpens iron, you'll see a difference, not only in your work, but in your spirit. Habit number seven, sharpen the saw. Always keep learning. Preserve and enhance your greatest asset, which is you. Have a balanced program for renewal, physical, social, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Take care of yourself. Never stop learning. Feed your creativity and always keep learning. Workshops, books, looking at other artists' work. Not to copy, but for inspiration and motivation. Go through all your photo files, try new things, keep yourself motivated. Habit number eight, share. Share what you know and give back. Help one artist, help a hundred artists. Volunteer to teach art, volunteer to teach art to kids, be a mentor, open up your studio, invite other people in. The more art there is in the world, the better it is for all who live here. Remember the ripple effect. You can make a difference even though you are one person. The smallest act of kindness, the smallest sharing of what you've been given can make a difference. 